What up, sauce gang, and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Meets are with another banger of a Skibbity Multiverse reaction. That is right, because Dom Studios earlier dropped Skibbity Multiverse uh, 10. And oh my god, dude. I don't know. Is, is Titan Clockman dead? Riddle me that, Batman. But you know we got to check out some analysis and theory. And Elite Clockman just dropped Titan Clockman dead? Question mark? So, I don't know, hopefully we get some answers. I don't think we're gonna, but hopefully maybe we picked up on some little Easter eggs and secrets because that's what Elite Clockman does. But before we jump in this, show them some love by subscribing to their channel. And if you enjoy my reaction, please smash that subscribe button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make. All right, chat. Let's let's see if this still works this Welcome, way. You know the deal. Gentlemen, Elite Clockman here. What up, Elite Clockman? For the Clockman? first time ever since the Beatty Multiverse series became the main series of Dom Studios, we had to wait Ooh, almost so one good. full week for the episode to come out. Three and episode minute. ten really raised the bar for this Skibidi Toilet fan Facts. series because it was certainly the best episode so far, while Hands also down. being the longest episode ever, even surpassing the Elite longest Clockman? episode on the original series. That's most likely going to change with Skibidi Toilet. Dude, 67. I love how uh, tight, Titan Drummond pulled him under. Longer and longer episodes on both the series, which is providing us with more content. Dom Studios Dang even right. said in my comments that originally this episode was supposed to be four minutes and 30 seconds, and they decided to cut the last one minute and a half, which apparently I was supposed to be in with a friend. I don't know who this friend is, but I guess we'll see soon when episode 11 comes out. Let's go! This also means that episode 11 is going to be a minute and a half. But all those aside, this episode was actually crazy. We got to Insane. see the Clockman's power in use once more, and we actually got to learn why. Because, don't forget, uh, Clock Woman fixed him. Plunger cameraman's plungers were white in girl. episode 8, which I was confused about at first. The Alliance also failed to save the Titan Clockman for some reason, and we'll talk about all this. But before we get into it, make sure to like the video and for the sake of episode 10, let's try to reach 10,000 likes. We are also let's nearing go. to 100,000 subscribers. And Just I think started with your the channel, help, that's we can crazy. We get to 100,000 subscribers today or tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe. Anyways, let's get to that's analyzing crazy. episode 10. We start the episode seeing a weird cog like clock, which also looks like a grenade because there is a pin on top of it. It's a clock grenade! We'll see Have you ever seen one? In a little bit. <laughs> Right after Everyone's we stop looking clock at the grenades. clock grenade, we see a drill man next to us and a lot of chaos in the background. A toilet with a weird toilet and acid tanks next to it comes into the scene, headbutting a normal cameraman, and the POV dish, cameraman dish, decides dish, to pull dish. the pin of the clock grenade and throws it, resulting in the acid toilet to freeze in time for five seconds. We can see the timer on his head, and it looks like this grenade is very similar to the stun gun we see in the main series, Woo! but instead of stunning the enemy, it freezes them in time. After this, the cameraman who was getting attacked flushes the acid toilet. But right after <laughs> this, this little the buzzsaw little toilet little suddenly, suddenly starts coming towards him and actually cuts the cameraman's head. And with that, we turn to our Wait back, off. seeing the chaos literally unleashing, and it looks like the toilets are mostly winning. Once we turn back to the drill man, we also see one of the large clockmen in the background also fighting with the toilets and the drill man gets an idea on how to actually go to the bunker we saw on our back. Because we know from the leaks in old episodes that this episode's mission is to save the Titan Clockman. Dang right it is. The drill man pulls out some weird device, and this blood really tries to dig down with something like that. I think I he's sending like Morse the code. the IQ out of all the races. I think he's sending like Morse code to Titan drill man. I could be wrong. Because this idea was something else on its own. Or maybe it's a terrible suddenly, the idea of his. Toilet comes out of nowhere with a chainsaw in his hand and he almost kills us. But suddenly another toilet with satellites on his toilet comes in saying, Warning, TV appearance. Meaning that TV men are coming and toilets in the area start getting stressed. But they should know that it's already too late for them because TV man comes with the large clockman who was fixed in Dang episode right. 7, who can actually pause time. All the toilets try rushing at them. But the large clockman uses his powers in time, freezing everything and pointing at his clock to show that they don't have much time, so they better hurry. Everyone suddenly starts rushing towards the bunker we saw, 
and the POV cameraman actually throws a knife to one of the toilets. And as you guys know, so awesome. normally Speakerman <laughs> uses it. knives, but in the multiverse kick. series, because of how the timeline is changing, things are very different. And we actually see one of the biggest changes later in the episode. After this, one of the large clockmen throws a bomb at the POV cameraman, and he puts the bomb inside like, the oh, buzzsaw wait. toilet's mouth. I'm not done yet. Let me come back. Might right before he continues on his way. <laughs> I think he did this in the name of the cameraman who was killed at the beginning of Facts. the episode. Facts. After this slap, we see that time starts ticking again. Everything suddenly explodes, leaving only one toilet with red glasses. And he sure is scared. And the POV the cameraman bird. literally flips him off. Bro really has no chill. Right when we are about to get into Straight the bunker, gangster. the infected Titan cameraman enters the scene and almost kills the POV cameraman with his hand cannon. But Titan Speaker Man also comes in rushing after infected cameraman and saves the POV cameraman. We got love after for you, comes, Titan Speaker Man! He tries to save the infected Thank you. Titan cameraman by trying to pull out the pass side toilet from his neck. But we already know that. It's impossible from Titan Clockman's try in Episode 6. White infected Titan cameraman was shooting at Titan Speaker Man. Titan Drillman sneaks in from the ground and pulled infected Titan cameraman to the ground burying half his body this was so With cool that dude titan that Speakerman was awesome find the parasite again but the infected titan cameraman pushed him back and he uses his jetpacks to pull himself out he tries to escape because he knows that he'll lose if he fights two titans at the same time but titan drill man uses his chain arms to catch him we also well, see another can... detail right before this scene if you watched episode 9 titan drill man had a sticker on his left jetpack which looked like it was saying that the jetpack was out of use but in today's episode, we can see gone? that the sticker is gone, which could mean that his jetpacks might be fixed Maybe he now, can fly now? Even though we don't see him use them. I think we'll get to see Good in catch. the next episode. Good catch, Clockman! After Titan Elite Clockman Clockman? catches the Titan cameraman, he smashes him to the ground, just like how Elite Cameraman wants to smash TV Woman. But we don't get to see the fight continue, because Titan Speakerman points out that we need to go inside. And once we go in, we see that the Titan Clockman is in a very bad shape. Oh. We also you got see me there. that Speaker you got Woman me there. is Leak with Clockman. us, but we knew that already from the leaks that the creators published and I covered in my last video. If you want to be notified about leaks on the Skibidi Multiverse series, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. After this, the whole squad comes together when TV Man teleports with the large Clockman. We see the normal cameraman walking towards the Titan Clockman, but suddenly the Titan starts moving. But it actually wasn't him. The weird mechanic toilet we saw in the leak comes from the back of the Titan with his tools, and he uses his flamethrower to kill the normal cameraman after this speaker woman tries attacking him Torture. but his helmet protects him, resulting in him killing speaker woman. But suddenly a flashing light appears attacking the mechanic toilet, and we all knew who this was the second we saw the lightning. Plunger cameraman, let's go! We see that there are two white plungers on his tools, and we already saw these in episode 8. Which I thought was a rendering issue, but apparently they were made white because they actually have ice powers, because seconds later the plungers explode causing his arms to be frozen, right after we see Camera That's Woman dope. enter the bunker as well, and she kills the mechanic toilet for good. Right after, Glitch Plunger Toilet flies down with Speaker Woman, which means that he actually caught her mid-air, and I'm so goddamn well, sure how he that saved her. Toilet is so jealous right now, his crush is in the hands <laughs> of another cameraman. After Speaker Woman claps the plunger cameraman. I love this sense of humor, pulls dude. Out some weird time device that has Titan Clockman's face clock on top of it, putting them next to the Titan Clockman most likely to reverse his time to revive him. But suddenly they all explode into pieces. And my guess is that this was caused by the magnet toilet Titan that came seconds after. Agreed. I'm calling him a Titan toilet because that's how they referred him as in their discord with this image showcasing the Titan size comparison. His size is so big that he is actually bigger than Titan Drill Man. Wow. And we can see that he has many tools that we don't even know what they do yet. Yeah, all the magnets. But the real question is, what happened to Titan Drill Man and Titan Speaker Man? Because if you guys remember, they were outside right before we entered. And if the magnet toilet Titan is here, they should have been means helping. That they've left or were defeated. They're slacking. We probably won't know what happened until episode 11 is released. But I'm actually so hyped for the next episode because the fight is most likely going to be epic. And the creators confirmed that I'll be in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this That's analysis, so cool. make sure to like the video and subscribe to not miss the episode 11 analysis when it comes out.
Elite Clockman okay. out. Peace out, Elite Clockman. Welcome. Peace out, bruh. Broski. Bro shizzle. Bro tato chip. All right, let me bring you in, dude. Bruh. That might be the most I've laughed on an analysis video. So obviously, right? Elite Cameraman, Elite Clockman, same person, but created another channel to do this, which is brilliant. But what I find so clever is just not as, you know, the AI voice different that he's using. He's adding in some different humor in it as well. Like Elite Clockman, the channel's absolute hilarious. I love all the little snippets that he puts in there, all these jokes, especially towards his other channel, Elite Cameraman and ISO toilet. Like it's just, it's super brilliant. Absolutely love this. Stoked to see him in the next video. Amazing analysis, amazing breakdown. I think this episode was pretty straightforward with the exception of we do, we are left wondering, A, is this a trap? I think this is a trap, by the way. He didn't talk about that, but I did in my reaction. I think this was a setup because they knew he would try and come to get uh, Titan Cameraman or Titan Clockman. But uh, we'll find out in the next minute and a half episode. But that also makes it sound like the episode's done. So I bet you we maybe get it on Tuesday or Wednesday or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you show Elite Clockman some love by subscribing to their channel. If you join my reaction, please smash that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And remember, if they sleep and make beats and as usual, be kind of one another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Come on below for the slice cake pizza chip.